guys thank you so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Jen and I love all things color we talk about makeup and I was about to say magic but makeup is kind of like magic so I guess that makes sense and skincare but today we're gonna be doing like a first impressions kind of a thing with a brand new release I think it's brand new release I'm not sure I'm it didn't say new or or anything I just was just always as always browsing um, and then I found this uh, eyeshadow duo from Clinique this is called the this part of their high impact line it's called a high impact shadow play so it has a shadow plus definer so it has these two shades there are at least 10 or 12 variations of this um, and I believe out of all of them this is a color this is like the most colorful one I did see um plum toned duo but this is like the most colorful one that the shade with the most uh contrast you know the others are kind of in the same family you know dark brown light brown dark plum and then like a mauve shade something like that but this was very very contrasting so i went ahead and i got it this is in the shade day night or day and night day plus night okay so this retails for $34 and this is made in Italy so one side is kind of like a powdery um, once okay this this side is the taupe so it's just a twist up cream shade right uh, and then this side is a powder because I struggled to open this I was trying to like yank this out so badly I just couldn't and then I it just hit me I think it's this packaging this side the darker shade is not the same as a lighter shade there is a little bit of a packaging pro and a problem here um, so the darker shade is actually a you have to twist it open my friends <laughs> so just FYI probably the darker shade is twist and it just like it's a springs out you see how it's like springs out by itself it is uh, so it's a powder that is absorbed in uh, a sponge like that it's a powder kind of you see that so that is the define that is like the smudgy kind of a look that you want to get so if you run out you see how i'm running out slowly so if you run out i think you're gonna have to put it back and kind of like take it out like a little bit of touch up so like that so i like jump straight into the swatches as you guys can see that is the beautiful it's a br i wouldn't consider this like a bright bright cobalt blue but it's pr it's it's quite v uh vibrant if you ask me it's quite vibrant and I like it so the other side is it's just like regular opening style and then for well, the blue actually does have mine minute glitter it's not like a fine shimmer it's not like metallic but it has like a glitter like suspended there so this guy this guy actually is like it's almost matte you cannot see that shimmer it's so fine you almost think it's a satin shade but it's not so you guys I mean you could use it as a matte satin if you ask me but when you kind of like blend it out that's when you you see the shimmer there there right there it catches the light just the tiniest bit like I said it's you can definitely use the, sh the the lighter shade at least in day plus night as matte or satin or even as like all over shade however you like it so those are the two so if you like these kinds of videos definitely consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already it really helps my channel out um so yep i really appreciate it as well so let's uh, i haven't tried this hang on something happened all right, my friends, I am sorry about the interruption, but my camera just like did a somersault and just like it freaked me out. I'm not sure what happened there. It's just like something ridiculous happened. Anyways, I don't even know how it happened. But 
uh, what I was saying is I have not tried these on yet um, so we're gonna do more like a first impressions kind of video which I rarely do because I usually like I don't have the patience to just like sit there and wait or anything so we're gonna go straight into it so like I said $34 made in Italy and it has two shadow and definer so we, we also saw swat, swatches so let's I saw like a three or four looks on Nordstrom's website um, so I think I want to attempt the one I love the most like it was like a halo look not like a yeah it was kind of like a halo look so let's see um, so my eyes are primed and also set so I put on an eyeshadow primer and I also set my my eye with a powder so I'm just gonna oh that was good that was pretty good right I'm just gonna I do have a matte eyeshadow palette with me just uh, I have a vizier palette just to blend things out so I'm just gonna apply the blue in the inner one-third of my lid and then the outer one-third of my lid as well so I have haven't I, I dipped once and then I haven't dipped again I do feel that this tip is very helpful in kind of like carving the outer V and kind of blending it too because it's it's basically like a sponge tip and you guys sponges really creates that airbrushed look right so I think it's a good Think it's a good idea to have put the darker shade in the sponge tip so i'm just gonna do the same thing on this eye as well and then let's put i'm not sure if these are out in sephora yet though we're gonna put something in the well not something the other lighter shade in the middle I'm really impressed by how much because this doesn't feel wet this does not feel wet this doesn't feel creamy or anything this is completely dry and I'm impressed by how how like it feels like I'm using a crayon the pigment really uh, kind of distributes really well on the skin and I don't think it's very patchy at all or anything like that. I'm gonna turn. And even if it is, we could always use like a, I love the sponge tip applicator that I can use to blend. There you go. From my standpoint, I think it is really good. I'm really using the sponge tip itself to kind of blend and then we can like touch up again so that is not bad at all um, I'm gonna take the taupe I think it is taupe I'm not even sure sometimes I'm always confused what this shade taupe really is and I'm just gonna use my finger this is the look I saw on the model and I was like wow that color I need it it looks really good it looks really good you can definitely take this all the way to your brows at least if you have my skin tone deep or deeper because it can you can use this as a highlighter too I think it's pretty good so I'm gonna do the same on this eye kind of like blended it's like a spotlight look right more than a halo because halo is like the color is all over there all around the brighter shade but we're just keeping the center shade open on top so I think it's more like a spotlight look and spotlight look is one of my favorite it like really it looks like you have a spotlight in the center of the lid 
Okay. I think it's time for a little bit of touch up of the blue. Oh wait, no. I think I want to first blend it out with like a skin tone uh, eyeshadow and then we'll do the final touch up of the blue because if you touch it up now then you have to touch up again and then blend and then touch up again blah 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 anyways I'm gonna use this shade I guess kind of like touch up there we go that's it now I want to touch up the blue and then I think we'll be done I could use the there we go touching the blue there oh by the way I never told you guys what I have on my lips because it is like speaking volumes it's like insanely glossy this is uh, this is not a new uh, old wait not a new product but I've just started to try it out this is the Milani's uh, lip jelly or lip oils yeah and I really do like them they're uh, they're quite nice to be honest okay that's good the reason I keep dipping back and forth is because not because my applicator has become a little bit dry or anything it's just I don't know which side has product and which side doesn't because I pro I'm, I'm applying here and maybe there's a product on the other side but I just like don't want to like turn around and find out it's just anyways so that's the final look I'm gonna see if I can use taupe as my inner corner highlighter here I don't know if it's oh it's good it's not too dark at all for my complexion it's a little bit dark maybe but it's okay I can manage it because is it creating a little bit of shadow because if it's creates a shadow then I think I need to go a little bit lighter but I guess you can try it out like I said it definitely it's more like a skin tone color than a, like a highlighter so I'm gonna go and put on some oh wait I wanted to show you guys I want to try if this would work as a uh, you know like eyeliner so what better time than to try it now I'm just putting a little bit on the waterline and I like that this is a powder it doesn't feel like a cream at all but it doesn't go everywhere look at that it really that was very 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 easy that was super easy my friends it was so easy and it wasn't scary at all like if you're like uh, not very comfortable with using a cordial because it has it has a pointy tip after all so um, but this one is like a big fat sponge and it doesn't really scare and it's very blunt it's actually very blunt and soft as well so pointy at all so that was so good especially for the waterline it didn't have to look up and do all this nothing I was just I was basically looking quite straight uh, so I'm gonna quickly put on my mascara and I'll be right back all right, I am back. I basically just did my mascara. That's um, that took me like a good five minutes. But uh, let's talk about final thoughts. I have to say it's very creative, and I really like the fact that this powder doesn't like kind of like dry out or anything. The application you guys saw was quite smooth. You might need a little bit. You might need a matte. Sh uh, like a powder shadow to blend the out the edges just to make things easier and faster that's it because uh, the sponge applicator is for a darker shade so if you want to blend out the darker shade you want something more like skin tone right so that's pretty much it but the application itself is like so so smooth because of the sponge tip applicator with which I really really am impressed about because it 
it is just powder i feel i don't think this is cream at all because it's not wet it doesn't have a creamy consistency you guys saw in the swatch there were skip areas right uh, here right now it's not skipping but you can see there was like it wasn't uh there was a uh, more opaque uh, side of the swatch and then there was a sheerer side of the swatch that's that's what makes me think um this is a powder shadow and it's really really well formulated so overall the sponge tip side of the eyeshadow is so well designed and very 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 applicator wise it's very easy to put on especially the eyeliner and the lower lashes that was a breeze so easy and it wasn't uncomfortable it was so soft the applicator sponge tip is actually quite soft and it's not intimidating at all okay let's talk about the cream side the cream side is very 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 especially the one used in this duo is so my skin tone friendly i love it it's not overpowering at all and you guys can see how it kind of like catches the light just the teeniest tiniest bit you can definitely put this all over the lid and just like be done this one on the lid and this one oh wait sorry the top on the lid and then this blue and the lower lash line you are done for the day and it's also like you guys saw it's like this i didn't try this out today on as an eyeliner as a winged eyeliner but this would really come out so so well uh i'm just gonna draw something like an eyeliner that the way i would draw like this it's gonna be um you know it's not gonna be precise obviously because look at the size of that sponge tube applicator something i would do wait this is not coming out right <laughs> like that like that you can just like wing it out like that you see that you can just wing it out like that hmm something like that and it's gonna come out like really uh intense and like winged out and very like a dramatic uh, but in the lower relax line, it comes out really well. So overall, it's a two thumbs up. I really like it. If you want to try it, I'd say give it a try because this is a very unique formula, at least a sponge tip part of it. So I think they've done it really well. There are also very neutral skin, uh, flesh tone colors. So yeah, I think it's a really nice one. So yeah, I'll see you guys very, very soon.